Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here, and welcome to the last bit of the combat testing that I want to do for this little series that I've done with the, uh, the Dragoon. Just combat testing solely, well mostly for the purposes of um, proposing changes to the community as well as the developers if they so happen to see this. And the last test is going to focus on the idea of breaking down a percentage of uh, total mass on a ship and seeing how long it takes. So, in the last two battles, we had the AI set to an easy difficulty and the AI set to a hard difficulty. And it was quite obvious which one killed me faster. The uh, hard difficulty AI killed me almost straight off the bat and you can see that in the video uh, where that was featured. Um, they killed me pretty much within five or 10 seconds. Uh, I got back into the ship I moved around inside a core just to spread the damage around a bit, and uh, then I jumped back into this ship, moved around. After the AI had spread themselves around uh, around me, uh, farther out, their accuracy was a little bit off at that point because they were farther away, and I was able to survive for a solid 5 to 10 minutes before I spawned in a few other ships which managed to take me out, no doubt. Those ships had a big impact. They were enemy dragoons, which is basically the same ship. So, I did the math based on the remaining amount of mass, and they have, in both cases, uh, been reduced by about 10% of their total block count, uh, or 10% of their mass. Uh, I am currently sitting at approximately 13,000 mass in both ships, and out of 15,000 mass, that's about 10%, uh, or uh, around there. So. That's pretty good, 10% of my ship, but let's think about that. Um, they took out 10% of my ship. The amount of jump drives that the game tells me to get onto a ship in order for it to hit the, uh, the proper efficiency or whatever is 5%. So essentially, those enemy AI could have, if they focus their fire properly, only taken out my jump drives or any other system on my ship that is 10% of its total mass. Uh, so, let's think in terms of the new health system. Let's think and do another experiment in terms of what we can expect with the new health system. So, and this this is something that I'm hoping for. This is by no means how it will work. I have no confirmation as to how anything with the new health system will work at all. Because, as far as I can tell, it's quite a ways off. The next thing they plan on updating for the game is the rail system, and that has nothing to do with the health system. So I'm assuming it's at least two updates away. So, um, let's think. Let's say that the new health system forces uh, any target to kill a certain percentage of any structure before the core overheats. Let's say that 40% of a ship needs to be destroyed in order for the core to overheat, or for the player to get killed, uh, or for the core to be exposed and open to uh, fire. Let's say that the core is invulnerable until 40% of the ship is destroyed. Well then, let's see how long it takes to get there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open up the catalog. We're going to admin load two more dragoons. They are up here, as you can see. And basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to unload its weapon systems on the other, and I'm just going to shoot at random sections of its hull, and we're occasionally going to jump into it, and we'll see just how long it takes to reach 9,117 mass, because that is 60% of the mass of a 15,000 mass ship, or it should be according to my math, and once we hit that, 40% of the ship will have been destroyed. So, let's do it. And uh, actually, now that I uh, think about it, I accidentally jumped into two ships at once, so uh, I will have to destroy the hulks that are remaining behind me. And to T duck. All right, so we're gonna target this. It's got 24k shields. I have my <clears throat> regular turrets. I have my quote-unquote drones, and I have my missile system. So uh, we're gonna just start unloading. So um, that first volley brought it down to 78%. The drones brought it down to 67%. Missiles, down to nothing. Their shields are pretty much offline, they're at 1%. Let 
Another volley from the drones, and they should actually start taking some damage. Turrets. More drones. And, uh, the missiles are, of course, going to be the uh, heaviest hitters. But, uh, we'll try and just constantly use all of the weapon systems. Just so we can find out how long it takes to get down to 60% of the enemy's hull remaining. Keep in mind that all weapon blocks do the same amount of damage. That's at least how it should be. If it's not like that, then, well, something's wrong with my config, or something's wrong with the information that people have told me. So we'll shoot another volley of missiles. We should actually be damaging the hull now, and I probably have to get in close before you actually see that. Maybe? Yeah. It, I don't know why, but it's taking a long time to render things. Maybe that's a setting that I've altered that I don't really know about. But I have to, like, get in close before I can see the damage that I'm applying. It's kind of annoying. So we'll just, we'll just wail on this ship. For, like, absolutely no reason and in no particular space. But this hopefully will give us an idea as to how long it will take to break down a certain amount of hull. And if this is how the new health system works, then we'll get an idea as to how it will work with smaller weapons, and why smaller weapons might be a good idea for this type of stuff. I've accidentally hit my jump drive there. Get another volley. There's a decent chunk of stuff gone. Nice, look at that. Probably, I should probably focus fire on some more denser bits, but we will fire at the entirety of the ship. Doesn't really matter where. Just killing random things. I have to admit, I really do enjoy breaking a ship at a slower rate. The overall look of the ship in its destroyed form is much more <laughs> cooler looking. It looks more like an actual wreck. Uh, when we... Here's the thing. When we use our nuclear weapons on these, these types of ships, uh, eventually it just turns into a big sphere of the ship that's missing. Oh. There is another pirate. We'll get rid of that. Um, another, like, there's just big spheres of the ship that are missing, and I think that looks ugly. I think we can do better than that. And I think forcing players to use smaller weapon systems might be a step in the right direction. Now, that is a big hit, but there is also very little actual stuff there to hit, so... I'm not even trying to core the ship. I don't want to core the ship. I want to destroy a certain percentage of its hull. Look at that! Look at how much cooler that looks! You can see all sorts of little decks in there and stuff. Just layers of internal structure. I think that looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I think I did a good job. I'm gonna be updating the uh, structure of this ship so it'll look even better. But, um... I think that type of effect with the whole breaking of hull looks really nice and having all the decks stick out and stuff it's a much nicer effect breaking down a ship at a slower rate is just more enjoyable it seems than wiping it out in two or three hits with your missile systems of supreme doom i don't know why oh that's what i was hitting that's what it was bouncing off of let's get rid of this goodbye <laughs> that was one of the uh quote-unquote drones of the ship Shoot a missile down there. Destroy that med bay. Look at that. Let's real quick jump into the Dragoon and we'll see how much of the structure is left. 14,000 hull. Or 14,776 mass remains. If we want to bring the ship down to uh, 60%, we've got a little while to go. We need to get it down to... What was it? 9,000 mass remaining. So as you can tell, it's taken me like five minutes at least just to get through the first, oh, I don't know, 1,000 or 2,000 mass of this ship with these weapon systems. Of course, with my proposal to decreasing the amount of weapons uh, in an attempt to make uh, weapon versus hull combat more enjoyable and more uh, last longer, maybe we wouldn't be using weapons as small as the weapons I'm using. But, you know, it's closer to what I would prefer, personally. 
these weapons, these missiles, are not doing any damage to the rear end of the ship, so that's kind of kind of bad. I'm gr gonna just start aiming the rest of the missiles over here at this point, because uh, the front of the ship seems to be taking missile damage, whereas the back is not. I don't know why. We want to bring it down to 60%. Chances are it'll last longer than this video will even be going for, because uh, I'm already coming up on 20 minutes here, and I don't want to spend any more time doing this. I think you guys will have gotten my point by then. Let's do uh, another missile volley there. Look at that, the damage. Did you see the way that spread out? I am using six turrets, six missile turrets, and... Or six missile systems, I should say. And it showed the cracks kind of spread out as each one of those missiles hit. That was pretty cool. At this point, I would say that I'm at least down to 12,000 mass. That's the hope, at least. I actually don't know. And keep in mind, keep in mind, a lot of this ship is standard hull. The only places where you're seeing uh, advanced hull is on some of the seam design work that I did on the white hull. All, most of the brown hull is advanced armor. But most of the white hull is standard armor, and most of the black hull is standard armor. So, it's taking me quite a while just to get through standard armor, let alone black, or advanced armor. You know, I mean, it's not like you have to actually use that much armor to get a benefit out of it. I imagine if this entire thing was made out of advanced armor, it'd be, like, incredibly unfair. I don't think I would be wanting to go fight up against the ship at all with these weapon systems, because it would just take too long. At least at this rate, I can core a ship pretty easily. That being said, this ship does not have any bonuses to weapon systems. Uh, like the other ships that I design, there are some ships that have bonuses to weapon systems. This is not one of them. This has bonuses to energy neutralization systems. If this ship had bonuses to weapon systems, we would be seeing more effective weapons. We'd be seeing more weapons. This particular ship only has 16 turret hardpoints. And of course, I'm basing this off EVE, there are other destroyers that have 16 turret hardpoints. 16 turrets firing. Some of those could be all... most, some, a lot of those could be turrets, uh, or missile turrets. Imagine the carnage with that. We'll do one more missile hit. We'll see just how much hull I've broken through at that point. And then I, uh, I think we'll be done. We will do that missile hit right there. Broken into quite a bit of that side structure. And real quick, we'll look at the damage. You know, decks of this ship are missing. From inside, the hangar has been completely destroyed. I would consider this hangar useless. You know, we even got a missile over here, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, if we go through the actual ship, pretty much everything on this side, on the lower sections, is gone. You know, we have very little damage to this hallway, but once we start getting up here, we'll see that the med bay is gone, mess hall is next, engineering is gone, the cargo bay has been exposed to space, the shields are coming back, so let's bring those back down. We'll shoot another missile in there, into that section of the ship. Well, would you look at that? Suddenly... Uh, where is it? Yeah, we're getting pretty close to the uh, tactical bridge with all these hits. Looks like tactical bridge is somewhere in the back here. So let's jump out. Let's uh, get a view. On the outside. I have actually overheated the core, I didn't know that. Uh, how much of the ship remains? 13,000 hull! Jesus Christ! If we want to break 40% of this ship's hull, we still have 4,000 hull to go through. Which is more than double of what I've already gone through. Holy shit! If we want to bring this ship down to its knees at 60% hull, we are nowhere near there. So, that's the idea, is that we want to start 
uh, like a system where we are limiting the number of weapon blocks that players want to put on their ships. We're not going to say that they can't. Keep that in mind. I never want to say that players should not be allowed to put or fill the entirety of their ship with weapon blocks. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that we want players to know that it is much more efficient and much smarter uh, in terms of a balanced ship design to go for a, uh, a, a smaller amount of weapons due to a uh, some sort of diminishing return or an efficiency on that, that weapon system. I mean, out of the entirety of my hull, I'd say weapon systems comprise 1% of this ship. And look how much longer I extended the combat. If I upped the weapons to, you know, 5% of my ship, well, I would no doubt have reached that 60% uh, mass that I was trying to hit. And I've only reached, I don't, I don't even know, I would say 80%. I'd say 80% of this ship still remained. That the goal was 60%. So, there you have it. Um, I'm gonna stop the video now, it's been going on for far too long. Um, I hope you get an idea as to what I am proposing, and you know, of course, by now people will have been leaving feedback, so I haven't had an actual chance to respond to you guys yet. Um, I recorded all three of these combat tests in the same day, so keep that in mind, that's why I probably have not uh, address this stuff yet in the videos themselves uh, the responses to your comments but that being said that's the plan that's my plan I don't know about you but it was fun and I, I quite enjoy this type of gameplay um, I, of course I was shooting at a static target and that's boring but up the amount of weapons I have and give me uh, an actual pirate to fight against and it looks like it could be fun it looks like it could be fun uh, that being said I'm done here subscribe if you want to see more Thank you for watching, and leave your feedback down below so I can tell you in the next video uh, what I think about what you said. See you later. But let's think about that. Um, they took out 10% of my ship. The amount of jump drives that the game tells me to get onto a ship in order for it to hit the, uh, the proper efficiency or whatever is 5%. So essentially, those enemy AI could have, if they focus their fire properly, only taken out my jump drives or any other system on my ship that is 10% of its total mass. Uh, so let's think in terms of the new health system. Let's think and do another experiment in terms of what we can expect with the new health system. So, and this this is something that I'm hoping for. This is... Hello once again, YouTube. Chris the Nightbringer here, and welcome to the last bit of the combat testing that I want to do for this little series that I've done with the, uh, the Dragoon. Just combat testing solely well mostly for the purposes of um, proposing changes to the community as well as the developers if they so happen to see this and the last test is going to focus on the idea of breaking down a percentage of uh, total mass on a ship and seeing how long it takes so in the last two battles we had by no means how it will work I have no confirmation as to how anything with the new health system will work at all because, as far as I can tell, it's quite a ways off. The next thing they plan on updating for the game is the rail system, and that has nothing to do with the health system. So I'm assuming it's at least two updates away. So, um, let's think. Let's say that the new health system forces uh, any target to kill a certain percentage of any structure before the core overheats. Let's say that 40% of a ship needs to be destroyed in order for the core to overheat or for the player to get killed minutes before i spawned in a few other ships which managed to take me out no doubt those ships had a big impact they were enemy dragoons which is basically the same ship so 
I did the math based on the remaining amount of mass, and they have, in both cases, uh, been reduced by about 10% of their total block count, uh, or 10% of their mass. Uh, I am currently sitting at approximately 13,000 mass in both ships, and out of 15,000 mass, that's about 10%. Uh, or uh, around there. So, that's pretty good. 10% of my sh the AI is set to an easy difficulty, and the AI is set to a hard difficulty. And it was quite obvious which one killed me faster. The uh, hard difficulty AI killed me almost straight off the bat, and you can see that in the video uh, where that was featured. Um, they killed me pretty much within 5 or 10 seconds. Uh, I got back into the ship, I moved around inside a core just to spread the damage around a bit, and uh, then I jumped back into this ship, moved around. After the AI had spread themselves around uh, around me, uh, farther out, their accuracy was a little bit off at that point because they were farther away, and I was able to survive for a solid 5 to 10 minutes.